Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel once again and today I'm just going to do a little walk around my hangar and in particular focus on one of my new ships which I bought in the anniversary sale the F7CM Super Hornet then I'll do a brief roundup of what little news there is this week well welcome back again everybody and we're in the Revel and York hangar looking down at my new F7CM Super Hornet we can also see in the background uh, the uh, Hornet Tracker now uh, this week I've been pretty busy at work so um, hopefully my commentary won't sound too uh, tired and uh, because uh, to be honest I'm pretty exhausted well that's one way to get down in the Revel and York hangar you don't always have to use the elevator Well, we've landed straight on top of the Super Hornet and uh, we can get a close look at the Klaus and Werner uh, Badger turret here which comes as standard with the uh, F7CM Super Hornet. Now the F7CM Super Hornet uh, has a few um, different things than your standard Hornet. For a start, it comes, as I said before, with the uh, turret as standard and it also comes with a jump drive but the main standout feature is the fact that it comes with the facility to have a second crew member on board now of course um, at the moment we're going to all have to wait until the multi-crew ship systems come on, come online next year before we can have anyone else on board but uh, that's certainly going to be very interesting. So you could have a co-pilot. You can even use it to actually, um, if you want to play as a bounty hunter, to actually uh, put someone there and uh, restrain them in that uh, canopy there. Now, you can't actually open that at the moment, but, uh, of course, eventually you will be able to. Anyway, let's have a look round the outside of the F7CM Super Hornet. Now, we've got a couple of neutron guns in the nose. I think the canard turret um, isn't standard. I think they've just uh, uh, fitted that there at the moment. You probably uh, have to uh, get that as an optional extra because when I'm looking at the specs here and yes I admit that I'm reading them off the specs page because I can't remember all this stuff um, we've also got the um, on the wing the bearing M4A laser cannons and uh, they're not quite attached properly so um, a little bit of a glitch there now moving around the back we've got the power plant which uh, is listed as the ANR elf r7 ultra overdrive and of course as standard as i said earlier it comes with a terrace leaper jump engine now this gives you an idea of the size of the super hornet and uh, bearing in mind it's a fighter and uh, i think a lot of the bulk of the super hornet is made up of the fact that it's pretty much uh, incredibly armored and anyone who's seen my damage state videos will know how much punishment the Hornet can take. It really is a robust ship, the uh, Super Hornet. I don't know if it's going to be uh, available to fly in Arena Commander 1.0, maybe as a single uh, seat ship. Uh, I know quite a lot of variants are going to be available. But um, hopefully it won't be too long because it'll be nice to fly this um, even without a second crew member. 
I'll have a look round the side here. Now it really does look nice. And uh, the Revel and York hanger, which I'm in at the moment, I much prefer the Asteroid hanger, but it is the best hanger uh, uh, to show off ships because of the uh, bright lighting. Now let's uh, get ready to uh, get on board the Anvil F7CM Super Hornet. Now, as I said earlier, you can only get into uh, the one main cockpit, and uh, it's pretty much uh, the standard Hornet cockpit. It's got some good visibility, as you would expect from a top of the line fighter. If you want more specs, you can have a look on the RSI website and you can download the glossy uh, brochure. All specs, of course, subject to change. Well, we're going to have a, a look at the co-pilot seat here. As you can see, um, there's not much there. There's a joystick, and that's about it at the moment. And a nice look at some designer stubble there. And to give everyone an idea of the Hornet in action, here's uh, a brief look at the F7A in Arena Commander. And bear in mind that the um, F7CM should be an even more formidable opponent because of the addition of the co-pilot. Anyway, hopefully we'll be able to fly the um, F7CM eventually. And uh, let's get out and uh, have a look at some of the other news of the week. Now the main news is that a new ship has been released. Yet another Anvil ship. And as you can see... Um, it's got a very familiar shape to it. A very Hornet-like body there. Because it's a military uh, ship, the Anvil Gladiator. And it's designed as a uh, bomber, torpedo and a missile ship. And basically, if you've got a squadron of these, you can take down large capital ships. Now, I don't expect to see this in Arena Commander for a while. But uh, you certainly will be flying it in Squadron 42 because it's a ship made up in Manchester and uh, it's going to feature pretty strongly in the single player part of Star Citizen called Squadron 42. Now this is a two man ship like the Super Hornet and there's certainly some uh, similarities between the two there. So uh, there's a nice glossy brochure. If you're interested in this ship you can uh, take a look on the RSI website. Well, we've already seen the uh, new Christmas uh, wreath, which is uh, available for everybody to display in their hangar. And there's also some new models available. Now, uh, this one features the Mustang, and uh, there's going to be several variants of them available to buy soon. And uh, somehow, I'm going to have to uh, probably buy a Mustang. Now, uh, worth uh, remembering is that on the 19th, there's the annual Christmas live stream, which starts at 10am 
Pacific time. So that should be pretty interesting. And I'm going to have to try and get home from work quick enough to uh, catch some of that. Well, thank you very much for watching once again. And uh, wherever you're watching out in that big universe, you take care. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.